Gotta love how extra recording sessions give you more money. <laughs> anyway, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Sports Play Ratchet and Clank. In the last part, humongous plot twist. Captain Quark is working with Drek. Okay, that was kind of a predictable twist or so, but yeah. And now, Ratchet and Clank are kind of at. They're kind of being. Ratchet's kind of being a dick to Clank, pretty much. In this episode, we're going to travel through the war planet, Batalia, in hopes of stopping the war and saving the planet from total annihilation. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, die. No, robots. Bad robots. What the? There's a bomb. I hate you stealth guys. Damn it. Alright, flamethrower. Where are you? Fire guy. Die! He wasn't even a fire guy, but still. Wombo comboed. So, yeah. Want, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, screw you. Yeah. Have some fire. Some delicious, nutritious fire. Hope you enjoyed it. I bet you did. I got more fire where this came from. Well, your friend likes the fire as well, yes. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. Right, come on. Bridge. Bridge. Alright. Devastator. Mainly because... Come on. Up ahead. After we open the bridge. This is really... Straightforward commentary. Cross the bridge. How am I supposed to take a tank out? <laughs> okay. If you, if any of you have ever played Uncharted 2, then you know what I'm talking about, but yeah. I wonder if they got inspired to do that bit in Uncharted 2 because of this. I wouldn't be surprised if they're going, hide in here. They would, he would never think to shoot inside this cave. And unfortunately, I can't aim, so yeah. And yeah, the tank, once you blow the top of it off, it can't attack you, so just whack it, rack top of it with your wrench a few times, save a bit of ammo. Bit of advice right there. But yeah, I was surprised they didn't get inspired to do that whole scene from Uncharted 2 with like these tanks. Yeah. Uncharted 2 is just I love that game so much. Like the Uncharted trilogy is just amazing. I haven't played the Vita one though, mainly because I don't own a Vita. There's not there's not many games on it. Like if they release like a new Ratchet and Clank or a new Sly Cooper, I'll definitely pick up a Vita, but until then, yeah. They lower the price, release a new Ratchet and Clank for the Vita, I'll buy it. <laughs> I don't know. God Bolt. A ghetto. God Bolt a ghetto. God Bolt Gato. <laughs> but, oh, that arrow just went off the cliff, damn it. Speaking of Uncharted, like... Okay, this isn't really speaking about Uncharted, but... Today I'm recording this, The Last of Us has come, has come out, and yeah. I'm low on money, I can't get it, no. I mean, I'm not a big fan of like, survival games and all, but oh man, that game looks so good. Like, it's got like tens across the board, and it just, oh man, that game looks so awesome. And I was looking at the capture screen, and now I'm most likely gonna die here, have a rocket, it missed, damn it. Have another rocket, have another rocket, no, I'm not gonna die, I'm not gonna die, I'm not gonna die. Okay, he die. Nope. Die. I better be careful now. Better be careful near. Ugh. This is what happens when you record at night, you get the words stirred up. You know, it's like the only time I get to record, because family and whatnot. Die. Yeah, how's that thing still alive? Yeah, definitely get a Devastator, it is just so helpful in this bit of the game. Mm. Doom. Sick him! Don't go for the tank! <laughs> go for the guy, not the tank. Yeah, go for the little guy, not go for the giant tank. Well, they got rid of it. 
Okay. And then there's another one. Yeah, there is. Oh, come here. Ugh, I hate these guys. So annoying. Gobba Doom. Yeah, they they teleport to other plants like those, so you better keep your eye out for them. Okay, and hopefully there's no more. There's more. Got him. Whoa! Was that one of his bombs or was it one of my guys? In that case, I'm really lucky. <laughs> there we go. We're creating the bridge. Yeah, you have to like rotate the control stick because I think in some of the later ones you just have to like you just hold it in one direction it will rotate. But in this one you gotta like, you know. You have to like rotate it with it and sorry guys you can't come up with me. He said before they followed him. And oh crap, there's no health in here. Oh god, how much further? Oh, pff, it's just across the bridge, okay, I'll I'll take it. And cut seed and B and R and another B. See you guys in a minute. Blast that thing and won't budge. I've tried everything I know short of nuclear weaponry. Hmm. No, never mind. Well, you tried. See ya. Not so fast, soldier. You're going into that compound even if I have to throw you. Aha! That ventilation shaft leads to the turret platform. Soldier, find a way to use that shaft to infiltrate the compound undetected. Hmm. You've shown bravery by making it this far, soldier. And for that, I reward you. I intercepted this communique that you might find useful. Take it. I'm off to find my battalion. Good luck. Hello once again, fellow blog. I hope this message finds you well. As many of you know, our home planet is no longer habitable. We've abandoned our factories, our laboratories, and our happy lives because of the encroaching pollution, leaving much behind. Fortunately, the nearby planets will supply us with all we need to create our new home, which is nearing completion. Once our scientists locate the ideal orbit, our new world will be perfect. So reserve your space now. Prime locations are filling up fast. Good day. Now do you understand why we must stop him? He won't rest until he has destroyed every planet in the galaxy. Yeah? Well, I got bigger fish to fry. Bigger than the galaxy? Well, different fish anyway. Look, didn't that commando guy say we could get into that compound? Yes, by using the ventilation shaft. But we will need something special to walk on that. Fine, let's get going then. We'll come back later. You will need a pair of Gadgetron Magna Boots to traverse this ventilation shaft. Unfortunately, our scanners do not detect any Magna Boots on this planet. Yeah, so we're supposed to save the planet, yet we can't. It's probably going to be blown up by the time we get back w with the magnet boots anyways. <laughs> but yeah, i got bigger fish to fry. That reminds me of that episode of Futurama, like one of the more recent ones, one of the uh, giant killer 4D space whale or something. Like, that was a that was a really good episode, that was. It's such a shame that Futurama is like, getting cancelled again. That's a real shame it's such a good show. I love Futurama. I am a bit of a Futurama fanboy, so yeah. <laughs> what do you expect? Because you want a meme? Well, not a Zoid book. As much as I hate memes, that one is actually... I do like that one. So yeah, we've done all we can do on this planet for right now. So how about we go to Planet Gasper? Find the pilot's helmet. Let's-a go! Looks like we're going to Planet Mars. The sh like, the design of that ship is just really weird. Like, you'd think it'd be green, you know? Come on, it's Quark. You'd expect it to be green, but it's like a reddish-orange. I don't know, I always found that to be weird. Nick picking! Whatever. Alright. Whoa, molten much? Alright. Let's get this. This, uh, you may as well get this boat just in case you need to, to buy a something from a defender. I don't know. And, ooh. Hi there, Fuzzball. 
Walloper, but I can't afford it. Walloper, you... I really recommend it for this planet, but we can't get it right now, but... How about we head down this way? This isn't the required path, but I think... Uh, hang on. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Like, the question mark is where the, like, pilot's helmet was, if you've seen the last episode. But, how about we go across these islands? It's like that. It's like, um, what is it? Planet... Oh, what's it called? Dax. Planet Dax in Up Your Arsenal. You know, like, you have the islands, and then you have, like, the main planet. <laughs> Gotta love that little, you know, Jack and Dax reference there with Planet Dax. Yeah, you got you gotta love you know the little friendly rivalry Naughty Dog and Insomniac have, you know? Yeah, they had it with Crash and Spyro, they had it with Ratchet and Jack, but I highly I highly doubt it was with Uncharted and Resistance as well, but And I highly doubt it'll work with The Last of Us and Fuse, because yeah. I haven't played Fuse, but Last of Us looks freaking amazing, but I can't get it yet because I don't have money. No we It banged up to me even though it cost me like 15 quid. Which is an absolute steal seeing how rare that game is. I've even recorded a review of it. I don't know if it'll be up by now or whatever, but whatever. Okay, any more enemies? Yep, enemies. Well, robot chicken things. Not the show, but, you know, just enemies. Is that show still going? Robot chicken? Like, I haven't... Like, I'm not like a big Robot Chicken fan, but I have seen a few episodes, and it is funny, I will admit. I just love how just random it is, you know? Like, I love the, uh, what was it? I think it was something like Grand Theft Mario or something, that was hilarious. Like, even though I don't care for Grand Theft Auto, that was so funny. Jump! Alright. Bunch of barrels, okay. I don't remember, like, this island segment that much, really, because it's just so optional. Yeah, it's not just optional, it's so optional, you know? And, ah, enemies! I hate enemies! Bomb glove. Yeah, you need to destroy these little, like, power stations to destroy these ships. Like I said, this, is, this isn't required, but 100% and whatnot, and plus it might help me get enough money for the Walloper, which I'm 700 away from. Alright. Swing shot. There we go. It's a trippy ass plant here. The Hypno Plant. I don't know. The Hypno Toad. Oh, glory to the Hypno Toad. I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking about Future Armor a lot. I mean, it w the new episode was on like, like tonight, but yeah. That was a good one. Yeah, it's such a shame they're cancelling Futurama, because I love that show. It's probably like my favourite show ever, it's just so funny. But, whatever. I mean, if we brought it back once, we can bring it back again. And I need to bust that thing up. Can I... Hang on. Can aim. Mm, can I glide down there? Okay, I'm probably going to die. I didn't die, alright. Sub generator. Enjoy that. You get a little bit of money from destroying these ships. So yeah, you get more money from destroying like a little robot than a gigantic like battleship. Because uh, video game logic. And ooh, bunch of money. I'm guessing there was some like some crates here or something, and we're getting so close to the amount. Uh, I'm going to conserve ammo and just whack it. Where's it get? Yeah, you get a little bit of money if you smash these lights, so I may as well get some money. Well, my money bags. <laughs> Reminds me of this, like, animated thing I saw on uh, YouTube, like, Spyro does a thing. Oh man, that was hilarious. It pretty much sums up like Spyro 2 and 3 in a nutshell, but oh yeah, that was so funny with money bags.
I hate to be like someone stuck in that ship, you know? Like, I don't know, they're just in the cockpit, reading like, I don't know, Born Mag or something, and then they get blown up. Hehe, <laughs> cockpit. Cock. Cockpit. Cockpit. <laughs> yeah, all of that was for a gold bolt. Yeah, you think they put like a gadget or something here, but no, it's just that. Really, really weird. I. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a skill point, but. Uh. Just because I want to get a seven and a half thousand, I'll just break these. Take me away! I don't know who'd hurt more from the lava, from this heat, Ratchet or Clank, you know, like, because Ratchet's got fur, but Clank's made of metal, so, I know, I know who'd, you know, feel the worst of it, the bomb? Hmm. Hmm. Better waste the stamina because the little guy's coming up. Okay, jump over here. Alright, best smash these. Oh boy. Ah, suck him up. I'm gonna go quick get that walloper. Because I'm gonna need it for, like, a few enemies coming up ahead, so I may as well quick grab it. And yeah, it doesn't require ammo, so that's always nice. Just making sure. Yes! We got the wild up a bunch. This thing's really useful in close range. Uh how about we get rid of the suck cannon? Because it sucks. Okay, no, the suck cannon's actually pretty useful. Really useful against the final boss, in fact. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh boy. Oh boy, what the Die. Die. Punch. Alright, I believe there's some stuff up here where there's an enemy. Well, there was an enemy, in fact. Hmm. Uh, I guess this is like the bit where you come out of, so that's understandable. Long jump. Long jump. Long jump. And a turret. Let's hop in it. Press circle. Destroy this wall. So yeah. Let's see how much time we're at. In 18 minutes, holy crap, it felt like 10. Uh <laughs> how about we explore this bit in the next episode? So yeah. Alright, so I'll show you how the walloper works really quickly. These bomb guys are really annoying, and if you have the walloper, it makes them a breeze. So yeah, buy the walloper. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Next time on Let's Play Ratchet & Clank, we'll continue Planet Gaspar and find the pilot's helmet, hopefully. See you guys then. Peace out!